In this segment, I'm going to begin looking at the Wings Modular program. And that's the other piece of software that comes as part of the Artistic Sewing Suite package. So up till now, we've focused on the creative drawing software and how we can create embroidery designs, but there's a lot of specialized editing techniques um, and tools that are available as part of the Wings Modular program. And so what I'm gonna do, just to get started, is I'm gonna come over to Creative Drawings and I'm just going to choose to start a new design and so I'll say new and just start from a sort of generic new graphic and we can just go with the standard fabric choices that we've been using that's fine and so now basically what I was thinking was what if we wanted to maybe what I'll do is create a simple shape and imagine that we want to use our venery cut needles and so we'll need to use the wings modular to prepare that embroidery design so why don't we just imagine it's going to be a star, so I'm going to come over and create my insert star shape tool and left click and drag to create a star shape. Right click to finish creating that star shape and it automatically becomes selected. Now perhaps what I'll do uh, before we send this design over to Wings Modular, um, I'll just prepare it a little bit so that it's um, been well thought out for using Venary Cut. Now, um, we can tell right now this design basically has a light blue fill and a dark blue outline and that outline is a simple run stitch so I'm gonna imagine that we want to create a star shape and we want to have that star shape be cut out so it'll be a hole in the center and rather than uh, sewing a run stitch around that hole I'm gonna convert that outline to be a satin stitch so that it gives a nice finished edge to the um, the cutout shape once it's done so I'm gonna go ahead and use my select tool and just click on the star and I think the first thing I'll do why not go into the tool options and take a look at the number of rays why don't we make this a five pointed star instead of six so I'll just change this six to a five and hit enter so there we have our five pointed star now I'm gonna come and open up the object properties tab and look at the pen or the outline settings and right now that's set as a run stitch and I'm just gonna convert that to be a satin serial and you can see right away if I was to zoom in on that 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 has now got a satin serial border now it's quite a thin satin border and if I wanted to make that border fatter I would again come to the tool options and here I can see that the outline is set at 0.4 millimeters well if I wanted to I could change the width of the outline by just simply changing the number there I'm gonna go with two millimeters and say enter and so now you can see that I have a nice solid two millimeter wide satin stitch border and at the moment it's sewing around a piece of weave fill so the idea is we're gonna create we've created a design it's got a weave fill with a satin stitch outline and now I'm gonna send it over and edit it using the wings modular and the easiest way I can do that is if I look under the um, edit sorry edit drop down menu no sorry file drop down menu it's called export and what I usually do is just go control E so we're gonna export this to the editor control E on my keyboard or just pull your file drop down menu to export and export to editor so that goes ahead and basically saves this design and opens it in wings modular now this is the wings modular software and before I go ahead and just convert this to venary, venary cut maybe what I'll do is just give a small overview of the software and I know I talked about this in the introduction and the quick start video but just to review it again um, basically wings modular is um, the beginning part of a larger um, commercial piece of digitizing software called wings and wings modular is sort of the base level and it basically gives us um, a number of editing techniques and, and tools um, so we're gonna go through in this part of the DVD I'm gonna go through and highlight as many of those tools uh, um, as possible so yeah there's drop-down menus it's very similar to the drawings we've got drop-down menus to access a lot of the features um, outside of the drop-down menus there's also toolbars for some of the more common features and so what we can do is um, plan to go ahead and review all of these things but I'll just highlight some of the main ones so obviously this is your Windows new and open and save and wings modular is like I said it's meant for um, 
it's actually a, the big building block of a commercial embroidery program and so some of the things may not apply to all users like for example um, this option here is for writing your design to a floppy diskette and there are certain commercial embroidery machines like for example um, the Baird and FMC format which is um, a commercial embroidery machine that has a specific a special box that reads a floppy diskette. These are things that are really kind of a little bit from days gone by. We not have, not many of us even have computers with floppy diskette drives in them anymore. But there's a lot of things that are still maintained in the Wing software for those specific users. So not everything may apply to all people who have the artistic sewing suite software. Uh, so we've got print, and cut, copy, paste, undo, and redo. This is your zoom. Uh, percentage and you can change the percentage here. Um, this is some um, unselect, select all and invert your selection and remember I'm going to show you how to use these different things. This is um, show and hide, show and hide objects while you're editing. These are some I guess traveling tools to um, travel through your design to make certain types of edits that you may want to do and these are some of the different ways that you can sh view your design turning on your stitch marks or showing up to your cursor and showing the filled outlines there's a slow redraw tool in the wings modular that we can use and you can access your design information with this button this is the colors um, your color manager and you can see right away that our design has a blue fill and a dark blue outline and by default everything that opens up in wings modular will have the knife colors so red knife blue knife black knife and green knife and even if you don't use the venary cut in a design it always keeps those um, knife colors as part of the design by default um, these are some special commands that um, again some of them have specialized uh, uses like the sequin command but we'll take a look at the ones that apply uh, most commonly to the users of artistic sewing suite You've got a sequence manager over here on the right hand side and under that sequence manager um, I've got some things hidden like for example there's an image map that I've got. Um, you can customize the Wings Modular desktop just like you could in the Wings in the Creative Drawings. Um, there's the little push pins to automatically hide things and so I just have my image map automatically hidden and that's why it looks like um, a little tab here and as soon as I mouse over my tab it just flies open. And same thing on the Sequence Manager tab at the bottom. There's an option for Object Properties, and there's an option for the Transform tab. Um, over on the left-hand side, you've got some editing tools, Transform, Edit Nodes, Split Stitches, Split Objects, Zoom In. Um, these are for modifying the density, modifying your satin widths, um, filtering your stitches, or smoothing out shortened stitches, and um, to reverse your sewing order. So we'll take a look at these and try and find examples of why you may want to use some of these things. And down at the bottom you've got a um, information bar that's going to give you some information about your design like the number of objects and the number of stitches in the design. So that's a quick overview of the Wings Modular software and like I said over the next several series of videos I'll be going through and trying to highlight and explain how to use all of the tools and features in this program. Now I said we'd make a Venary cut design and so this is the design that we created in, in drawings and if you look at over here on the right at the sequence manager you can see that the first image um, the first I guess box or tray whatever you want to call these is actually an image of the whole design so that is basically showing me what the design looks like and then you kinda of have it broken down into colors so here we have the light blue which is the fill object and then you have the dark blue which is the satin stitch outline and the last one here is really just the return back to center which is always put in um, so that your design comes back to your center point when it's completed. So that's really all there is in this design is a fill object and an outline object and what I'm going to do is simply select the fill object by clicking on it in the sequence manager and you'll be able to tell it's selected because it highlights it here in the workspace. And now that it's highlighted, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click over top of that highlighted area and it brings up uh, like a secondary menu and under that secondary menu one of the options is change to venary cut. 
And so I'm going to go ahead and select Change to Veneri Cut. Now, you can see that something's changed right away on the screen. Um, although the image map still shows that it's you know light blue and dark blue, the second color has now gone to sh with a little icon here, which this icon represents the Veneri Cut. And so now what we can see is that there's no fill in that object. It's it simply shows light blue as a color, but there's no stitches in there anymore. If I look really closely, it's just a color, and the only stitches are actually the outside or the border of it. And so that's, in general, what you need to do to convert something to a venere cut. And of course, um, after the venere cut was finished sewing, so you would hoop your fabric, and it would cut out the shape of the star, and then it would complete the design with the satin border that we had created in, in the drawing software. Um, maybe to try and highlight what we'd done, I could go to the file drop-down menu and take a look at the print option. And under print, we can see here several things. Uh, I guess the first thing would be um, here at the bottom, you can see the sewing sequence. And it's it shows that the first one, two, three, four colors are actually the venery cut needles. So you would use the red needle, then you would use the blue needle, then you would, I guess they're not needles, they're knives. So it's red knife, blue knife, black knife, green knife. And then it would complete with the blue satin stitch. And that's also reflected up here in this part of your print preview where it shows, again, the sewing sequence. And there's a small icon beside them that shows that these are the knives. And then it follows up with the final color, the dark blue, as a satin stitch outline. So I'll come back to talking more about how you can customize your print preview um, options but in general that's the process of creating a design and sending it over to the wings modular and then converting it to a venere cut so what I'll do now is I'll finish this video and then prepare to begin to explain all of the different features found in the wings modular software